Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Rain Sue's Travel Channel and here we are in Ravenna in Italy and this is the beautiful explorer of the seas and we're about to undertake our seven day cruise around Greece and Croatia. Stay tuned. Well good morning cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. We're on the beautiful explorer of the seas about to undertake our seven day cruise around Greece and uh, Croatia and we're in Ravenna today it's day one we've just got on board and we transferred down from Bologna airport down to uh, Ravenna port itself we use the cruise line transfer and we'll share a little bit of that in another video um, but I just thought I'd give you an idea of the outlook in Ravenna itself obviously a nice little marina there and some uh, built up areas in terms of residences etc and into the right hand side further uh, in the distance um, a bit of a petrochemical sort of industrial type uh, area um, Ravenna itself is quite small and for those of you considering uh, a cruise out of Venice, this is actually where they will bring you. You may well fly into Venice, but they will bring you down to Ravenna, and it's about a three hour trip. Um, alternatively, you can fly into Bologna, uh, and Bologna to Ravenna is one hour. So they are your choices. Um, I just thought I would just give you just a quick view of one side of Ravenna port and I'll share some more in a second. And on this uh, right hand side, starboard side of the ship, uh, we can see a little bit more of the Ravenna port. Obviously down below, we're on deck 11, so down below we have the uh, terminal, the arrivals and deparkation terminal, and a number of coaches there taking uh, passengers from this cruise uh, off to the airport and their onward travel connections. Um, so we can also see um, a little bit further away um, there is a bit of a beach up there on the uh, in the distance there um, it's a fairly open beach it doesn't look particularly inviting um, it does have we understand a, a restaurant and a couple of bars um, and of course uh, Ravenna is a seaport so these other areas here that you can see in front of us obviously will be occupied by cruise ships at appropriate times. Um, obviously it's turnaround day as well so um, there's a whole bunch of trucks over there uh, waiting to provide uh, uh, a refresh on all of the essentials for the next cruise. Um, so, so that's Ravenna Port and we're going to go off today and we're going to have a look at downtown Ravenna as well. We're going to get the shuttle. There's a free shuttle that goes between the cruise port and uh, central Ravenna. So we're going to go off today and take a look at central Ravenna to see what's there, but also to provide tips for travellers considering going into Ravenna uh, for the start of their cruise as opposed to flying into Venice and having that three hour transfer. So stay tuned, stick with us as we go off today and take a look at Ravenna, Ravenna Town, Ravenna Central, train station, uh, and also any remnants of the port that we haven't covered. Stay tuned. Okay, so uh, when you leave the uh, terminal um, and the beautiful explorer of the seas in the background, there is a shuttle bus that will take you to Ravenna train station and that's a free shuttle with all of your uh, luggage etc and for those individuals that are, are taking the train back to uh, airports etc um, this shuttle is uh, very helpful it seems reasonably or organized quite busy but organized uh, nonetheless and the complimentary transfer shuttle bus to Ravenna and a short journey through the town
and here's the drop-off point uh, from the transfers from Ravenna Port and it's a moderate walk uh, down to the train station on the other side of the road okay so uh, when you've come out of the drop-off point for the transfers you need to take a walk down this path um, to get to the train station which is across the road so bear that in mind if you have limited mobility if you have a wheelchair I think it would still be fine it's quite flat but bear in mind that there is a bit of a walk between the shuttle drop-off point and the station itself hope that helps okay and so when you walk down that path here's the entrance to the station itself you can get the lift if you have heavy luggage and there is a set of stairs which will no doubt take you via an underpass okay and so uh, down the stairs into the train station itself and a very very helpful uh, underpass taking you to a variety of different platforms and an information board uh, sharing departure information and arrival information how useful is that Okay, so here is the entry into Ravenna train station, Ravenna, and some very, very interesting local history. And, uh, yeah. And ticket office area and access to the individual platforms for whatever your train is and on the other side of the road of course along the passageway under the under the tracks is the main Ravenna station entry and in the arrivals area there are ticket machines and a ticket office and of course outside the train station are onward connections so you can get yourself some buses uh, or go down and walk into the town okay so uh, as advised really Ravenna is a bit basic uh, there's a coffee shop over there on the right hand side on the other side of the roundabout there a little bit of a park here but pretty much it's just the connection points for onward travel and uh, not really a lot to see if you're a tourist we hope that's been useful for you okay so that is the train station at Ravenna um, we hope that's been useful in terms of understanding the layout and the accessibility and here is the coach station this is where you dropped off on your transfer if you're arriving at the station there is a little walk as I mentioned before but there are lifts on each platform and into every ex exit and entry point into the station here is the coach station where you will pick up your transfer when you arrive at Ravenna train station okay and then the transfer buses will take you down to your ship at Ravenna uh, cruise port okay so we hope that's been useful for you hope that gives us giving you an idea of the tips and tricks that you can follow if you're doing the DIY uh, transfer from Ravenna Bologna uh, uh, on your own and here are the transfer buses that will take you to the cruise port 
and the nice people that are representing the bus line and Royal Caribbean in that process. Here we are in Ravenna port, just about to embark on the beautiful Explorer of the Seas for our seven night cruise around Greece and the Adriatic. Stay tuned. Okay, so when you check in, the check-in process is that you can go into an individual line and if you are a higher member ranking of the uh, Crown and Anchor Society, you get some uh, privilege here. And also if you're a sweet and pinnacle guest, you can go almost straight through. Okay, so if you're doing a back-to-back uh, sailing um, you have the opportunity to hang out in Ravenna for the day but as we've shown there isn't that much in the way of attractions so one of the other things that you can do is come out of the main terminal and go down through this little gate area down the bottom and there is a beach about five minutes down this pathway so we're just gonna take a look down there now okay so it's a little bit noisy here because we've got a few trucks uh, waiting to unload but uh, as you walk down the side of that uh, pathway here is the gate that you go through and you get the opportunity to go out into the rest of the marina area and the beach area so we're gonna pop down and take a look at that now okay so we're through this gate and on our way down to the beach but i couldn't walk past by sharing with you a beautiful uh, picture of explorer of the seas uh, side on as you can see she's been uh, uh, refilled with various provisions and they are doing a deep clean on her today because there were some some GI issues, gastrointestinal issues on the previous cruise. Only small, but uh, like all sensible cruise lines, they are doing a deep clean. So there will be a bit of a delay on getting back on board. But as we are in transit, then we can get walk, walk straight on board. So we're going to do that in a little while, but I just thought I would share with you a lovely picture of Explorer of the Seas and give you a bit of a scan of the rest of the area. And so as you come of that come out of that area from the cruise ship you walk down a ways and you get to go to the pier and the beach. So Explorer isn't that far away from the beach area, as you can see. You can see where we've walked. It's about three, four hundred yards, five minutes away, not too bad. And there's a bit of a, a, a road access area here. And then, of course, the beach. So here is uh, the beach. Seems reasonably busy today and goes all the way up probably all the way around the bay there probably about two miles so there are parasols and beaches and you can have a bit of a paddle uh, not too much surf and that's good that's the beach just by the cruise port in Ravenna hope that helps okay so we hope you've enjoyed this uh, video this uh, review and tips and advice and tips for travelers for you if you're using the port of Ravenna to start or end your cruise. We've been down into the town on the free shuttle transfer that's laid on by Royal Caribbean. Uh, we've been to the station, we've taken a look at the access routes. Um, we can give advice in terms of the various trains that you could get into Bologna if you are flying in or out of Bologna. And we've shared with you little bits of Ravenna itself 
and uh, here we are now back in the port. We're about to get back on board, but I just thought I would give you one more sweeping shot of the port of Ravenna. Um, there is a beach, as I shared with you a, a, a few seconds ago. It is a bit basic, water's not particularly clean, but uh, nevertheless, it is a beach. So, we hope this Ravenna Tips for Travellers video has been useful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom of the video. And thanks for watching. And if this is the sort of content that you like, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's free and there's over 120 videos on there that will help you out. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again in the next Tips for Travellers video. Bye bye. And if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean and Mexico. So please leave us any comments you'd like, and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's through your subscription that this channel can grow.